Hey, Ronnie. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that sounds good. About done there? We got a show to do. Oh, I'm just putting together my Christmas wish list. Already? Yeah. Wow, you are on top of well, it. Well, I want to get the jump like, uh, like we didn't do last year. Yeah. Remember? Yes. But you did get one of the things for Christmas that I was on did. the list. Yes. All right, well, I've got a list Children. here that we're going to share today, Ronnie, yeah. of awesome gifts men actually want this year. Men approved. And they will be on the next Men Are So Smart. Well, hi there. Welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. We sure are glad you're here today. Thank you for choosing our show to spend some time with us. You know, shopping for guys can be very tricky. Uh -huh. uh, though traditional men's gifts, uh, think neckties and whiskey stones, and they seem like safe bets, but in truth, men have a wide variety of tastes, and those safe gifts rarely ever get actual use. No. So this year, we got you covered on Men Are So Smart with the best gift ideas for all of the men in your life, the chef, the student, the traveler, the gamer, the outdoors, all those for you. Ronnie, why don't you kick it off with the first thing on our list today that we'll share. So this is something that I already have. Okay. They are near and dear to my heart. I'm in the market for some, honestly. Apple AirPods. I know. I hear they're all the rage with the kids. They're awesome. And they actually just came out with AirPods Pro. Well, that would be me. A uh, little bit more expensive, oh, but I you get that. a little bit more for your money also. But the AirPods, so let me just read from this article. Okay. We've tested nearly every pair of headphones on the market, and Apple AirPods have consistently been the top pick in our roundup of the best true wireless earbuds. Incredibly easy to use with any Apple product. Uh, they sound great. They charge easily in the included carrying case, and they have absolutely zero wires. Best of all, they're actually cheaper than most of the competition, which is rare for Apple products. I would have to say so. So I take mine to the gym. Uh, they're not completely waterproof, but as long as you don't, have, if you don't sweat too much in your ears, it's okay. I just, uh, after the gym, I take them out. I dry them off a little bit. I have sweaty ears. You have sweaties? Mm. <laughs> uh, but the sound is amazing. If you get a phone call, you tap it, you answer the phone call. I uh, thought people were just trying to get rid of a bee or something. No, when they did it's, that. yeah. It, they're really, really intuitively designed, very user-friendly. Uh, they last... I don't even know how long they last. I spend usually an hour and a half to two hours at the gym. They last through all of that. And then you put them in the case and the case recharges them. That's Yeah, that's fascinating. That's what you were telling me. It's amazing. Yeah. And then you just charge up the case with the earbuds in them, well, you know, when you come back from the gym. Okay, so really, honestly, Ronnie, um, am I going to be able to tell the difference between a $50 pair of earbuds and these... What was it, $150? About $150. Bucks, and the AirPod Pros are about another 80 on top of that, I think. Dang it, that's expensive. Uh, they're, and they're, the one thing that the AirPod Pros have, a little bit longer run time. Uh, they also have uh, little silicone cups to make them more custom fit to your ear, which also makes them more waterproof. Uh, not not waterproof, water resistant. You can't jump in the pool with them. Um, but I, I think if you had like a pair, because they make some generic ones, you can buy them on eBay for about thirty bucks. But and if that's all you'd ever heard, you would say these sound fine. But when you put the AirPods in, they really sound good. Well, look, I use these Sony over-the-ear headphones uh, in in radio. I've used them for virtually my entire career. I've only been through maybe three pairs of those yeah. in 30 years. I, I don't think they're going to match an over-the-ear pair of headphones. Uh, but basically, oh, and the other thing that these new AirPod Pros do is they have noise-canceling technology, which oh. is uh, like Bose, very expensive headphones, uh, noise 
canceling technology is super expensive. New ones have that. But any pair of uh, headphones that just sit on your ears, these are going to be superior to that. All right. Gotcha. Next up on our list of things gifts men will actually use this year for the aspiring aforementioned chef, the Henkel's Zwilling Pro 8 Inch Chef's Knife. Ooh. Priced at $149, if you ask any chef or serious cook, one of these is a must-have. The Henkel's model is almost universally praised by online shoppers, and it won our roundup of the best chef's knives, easily slicing through the competition. I hate those kind of jokes. If you want something to go with it, I personally love the $50 Epicurean Gourmet Series cutting board, which is beautiful, functional, excelled in testing, and is even dishwasher safe. How can you beat that? Men love a good knife. Yeah. Especially when it comes to like carving. We've got carving coming up in just a couple weeks for Thanksgiving. A lot of people do a Christmas ham. Yeah. I like to get them spiraled ones, though. Those are great. Oh, yeah, those are best. That's easy. And there's no carving that needs to be done. No, no. In any case, a good knife. You know what? For ribs. When you're cutting ribs apart. You know what? I'm taking a sushi class coming up, and you have to have a sharp knife for that. Oh, I bet you do. So. Yeah. Uh, yep. All right. Next up on the list, I've got the Netflix binge watcher, the Roku Ultra. Ultra, you say? Yeah, it's about ninety-nine bucks. Uh, if you own a TV and a streaming box, the Roku Ultra, and this is the 2019 edition, was the top-rated streaming device, and it costs less than an Apple TV device, but easier to use and works with all major streaming services. The absolute best trick that they loved: the 2019 version has the added Apple TV app. So you'll have access to all of your iTunes purchases. Oh, Apple um, has that new series on it, Apple TV, with Jennifer Aniston called The Good Network, M The Good Morning, or something. Good morning, morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a yes. I want to see that. I watched the first episode. You did? Yeah, because it was free. I think they may charge for the following episodes. They charge for everything. But it's got Steve Carell, who I absolutely adore. He's beautiful, too. Uh, just like Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston, who I'm absolutely in love with. Me, too. It's it's a it's a good show. And the first episode, there's a lot of drama in it. More, I was expecting more of a comedy. There's some drama. Hey, I just want to take a moment off topic here. Uh, I just want to let you know, Ronnie, if Jennifer Aniston, like, knocks on the door here behind us and wants in, right? we need to stop and let her in. Okay. She's here for me. Oh, well. Yeah. I, I'm not sure about that. No, I'm certain. I told her that. Part of my stalking her was that I had to let her know where I was going to be at all times. <laughs> and so this time period, I'm at your house. Well, that sounds fair. Yeah. So if she knocks... Just so you know, yeah. we'll give her the we'll give her ample opportunity to choose. Uh, you know. All right. Yeah, just throwing that out there. I'm the charming one, though. You're just a funny one. Well, most women they like the. I want somebody who makes me laugh. How often do you hear that? All the time. For the tech savvy. <laughs> <laughs> the tech savvy charming. Yes. Amazon Echo Dot Third Gen. You don't say generations. You just say gen. gen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these are valued at twenty nine ninety nine. That's, That's a boomer thing. Oh, boomer. <laughs> twenty nine ninety nine to forty nine ninety nine. I gotta be honest with you. Um, I don't want one of these in my house. I really don't. Oh. Uh, just because I think it's an invasion of privacy, and I, is this thing on? Uh, I feel like it's listening to everything I say. Well, how weird was it? Earlier, we were doing a show, and Siri came on and said, I didn't understand your question. See? We weren't even talking to her. No. But she was listening. She was listening. All right. Uh, we love voice-controlled smart speakers like the Amazon Echo. Not me. But the diminutive and affordable Echo Dot is a perfect way to bring the functionality to other rooms in your house. Uh, a top pick if you're a beginner looking for entry-level Echo. 
Uh, people use theirs in the kitchen, where it's perfect for streaming music, setting timers, or even entertaining pesky kids. <laughs> there's the there's the winner right yeah. there. All right, this one, and I got to say, I have like three of these. I love them. I never am more than about, I mean, six feet from one. I always make sure that I have one handy. I love this tool. It is the Leatherman Wave Plus Multi-Tool. There's a lot of variations of this. Lots of variations, and in fact... I don't own all Leatherman products. I was telling you earlier, I have a Craftsman one that I absolutely love also. They're all slightly different. You just want to make sure that it has the tools on it that you're going to need them or use the most. For example, um, I told Ronnie mine has a hammer. Right. Small, but still a hammer. Mine does not have a hammer. Mm -hmm. uh, if I had a hammer, I'd hammer every morning. I'd hammer in the evening. All over this land? I uh, hammer out justice <laughs> i hammer out a warning <laughs> i bang out the love between a man and a woman <laughs> but i digress so even if he doesn't <laughs> need a multi-tool we went we did that we're stupid so crazy even if he doesn't need a multi-tool most every guy wants one whether yeah. he knows it or not he needs one yeah uh or at least you want to have one when the moment calls for it like in your glove box I keep it in the console of my truck. Yep. Uh, and I have one in the console of my Corvette. Right next to my um, one flashlight. My mm -hmm. um, what is your toolbox doing in our studio? In the studio. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, you got to have a I, you gotta have a toolbox in the studio. Well, of course. You can't have a Leatherman. you got to have it in the toolbox. Right. If you can have a toolbox, it's got to be in the studio. Gotcha. So the Leatherman Wave easily won this uh, roundup of best multi-tools. It looks great. It offers impressive performance and has excellent user reviews, and it comes with a 25-year warranty. And I will tell you this, that I've seen some cheap ones at um, one of those tool stores that sells lesser you know, quality products. HF. Yeah, um, they don't last. This Nothing is, does there. You know what, I've had pretty good luck with things from there. Um, not unbelievable luck, but pretty good luck. But this is something, if you're going to use it, and sometimes your life may depend on you having this item, that's not where you want to buy your multi-tool. Mm -hmm. So buy a, buy a good quality one. They're like from $75 to $100. Uh, well worth it to get a good one. Now, this one is a little bit on the expensive side, but I can see how this would be really perfect for a lot of people. Like you. The Sony WH-1000XM3 noise-canceling headphones. There it is, noise-canceling again. With Bose's excellent quiet comfort headphones, while they have owned the noise-canceling space for years, Sony <laughs> is the new champ in town, now widely regarded as the best all-around noise-canceling headphones you can get. Wow. Wow. The Sony 1000XM3s offer superb sound quality, which is what I gotta have. They cancel out ambient noise beautifully. That's quite an adjective. Um, and are supremely comfy for long flights, train rides. You know I take the train a lot. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, constantly. Uh, or just working at your desk. That I do a lot. <laughs> uh, when you wanna avoid all people. Right. $348. Pricey, but you know what? Uh, quality has a price. You get what you pay for, people. Yep. All right, next up. <laughs> this is the Skagen Signature Watch. Oh, you love watches. I'm a watch dude. Yeah, you are. Uh, in fact, my two least favorite times of the year is when you have to change your watches uh -huh. and clocks back mm -hmm. or forward an hour. Yeah. I have a couple watches that are very complicated. I have to Google the instructions <laughs> to figure out how to turn on and off daylight savings time. <laughs> uh, Sometimes I go to work and I'll take like a dozen watches with me. First world problem. And I have to reset my watches at work. Damn All right. Ronnie, I'm sorry. This watch, uh, the $95 Skagen Signature Watch. Mm -hmm. Smart watches are fun and all, but traditional wristwatches are still a timeless way to compete, complete an outfit. Yeah, uh, and especially if you match it to your purse like you do. <laughs> and my shoes. Mm -hmm. 
The this watch, uh, the Skagen watch, is simple but pairs perfectly with casual and formal outfits and heels. Uh, I own two Skagen watches myself. Actually, I don't. Uh, this writer <laughs> does, and he wears them all the time. Uh, if you're buying for someone who likes a little more pizzazz in their wardrobe, MVMT. That's a new company coming out. Uh, they advertise a lot online, and they're and they make beautiful watches, and they're fairly affordable. And they're that's kind of what they say in their ads is watches should not cost. $500. Right. It doesn't cost $500 to make a watch. And you know what? A $500 watch tells takes uh, tells time as closely as a $5 watch. I have a $500 watch and it's no more accurate than my my Casio G-Shock. So Walmart special. <laughs> all right. Uh time for a couple more. Beards of all shapes and sizes, you need the Wall Clippers beard. Just $53.97. Hmm. The Wall Clippers stainless beard trimmer won the roundup of best beard trimmers. Wall has definitely been a name brand product for in the hair industry. I just bought some Wall Clippers. Yep. Uh, with its top-notch battery life, trimming ability, and professional quality build. It's not waterproof, but it's easy to keep clean, so... If you're buying for someone with a beard, they will appreciate it. That's affordable, $55. That's that's very affordable. Every man who has some type of beard or mustache needs one of those. Yep. All right, this next one, this is me. This is all me for the gym rat. Herschel Supply Company Sutton Duffel Bag. Uh, duffel bags are definitely the black sheep of the bag family. That'll happen when you mostly stuff dirty, smelly things in them, but they don't have to look bad. The Herschel Company Supply Company duffel bag looks good enough you could take it to the office, but it's functional enough to work as the daily gym bag or as a day trip carry-on. So personally, I have a small backpack that I take to the gym, and I keep like shower shoes in there and... Uh, a towel because my gym no longer hands out towels because people were stealing them. Yeah. I uh, keep a you know, change of clothes and what have you. It's, and I'll, I'll also tell you this that I don't use the lockers at a gym. When I was working patrol, we responded to a gym about once a month where somebody would go in, they'd have a pair of, uh, bolt cutters in their backpack they wait till everybody's out of the backpack they cut cut a couple locks off they steal your wallet your keys your phone boom yeah all the most important stuff that's the all you bring to the gym is the right. most important right. stuff and so and you hate to leave it in your car because that's the other thing they do is they people kind of sit out in the parking lot they watch for the people that walk from their car to the gym they know you're going to be in there for a minimum of a half hour. Then they go to your car, they bust a window, and they look for your wallet and your phone. Because a lot of people don't want to take those into right. the gym. Because somebody could be in there with bolt cutters. Exactly. So, oh. best way to get around that is... Don't go to the gym. <laughs> avoid the gym at all costs. There you go. We're going to leave you with that right there. <laughs> We're just about out of time here today. Uh, as we approach the holiday uh, season, we will be sharing more and more gift ideas for men. Yep. Or gift ideas for men to get women. I mean, a present, not to get them. <laughs> what the hell? Am, what do I mean? I'm not sure on this one. Well. But I do know that you can uh, find us online at menaresosmart.com. That's our website. Yep. Uh, we are on Facebook at Men Are So Smart. Our shows can be podcast heard. What? On iTunes, Spotify, and soon to be on iHeart Podcasts. Wow. We'll tell you more as we get closer. We're getting crazy. Our email addresses are Lou at menaresosmart.com. And Ronnie at menaresosmart.com. We certainly do appreciate. We hope you had a good time with us today. Maybe even had a couple of great gift ideas. If you did, please give it a like. Perhaps even share this episode yeah. with someone like your significant other. Um, that's very easy to do below in the description. 
Okay, I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Wishing you the best today. Go out there and make it a great one. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart. Bye now. <laughs> <laughs>